Hi, I'm Chelsea Denofa, driver of the number 88 Nudo Tire BMW 3 Series. I got started into racing. I was always into cars. Uh, it was a little bit different because my family wasn't directly oriented into cars. My dad would like call me to change a headlight bulb right now kind of thing. And, uh, you know, just into extreme sports and motorsports uh, kind of just came naturally as I got older and had the ability to drive. I started driving when I was 15 and my uh, mom actually had to drive me to my first event in my car and then we switched and I got to go out and drive. So Drifting became more than just a hobby for me probably in 2005 or 6. I started driving uh, some competitive events and got to match my skills with others and saw that I was definitely progressing and had the ability to be one of the better drivers there. So. I started traveling around the United States and driving some uh, pro amateur events and uh, kind of just snowballed from there. As a driver myself, I like to, you know, have my car and my style together as one to, uh, you know, make a good show and hopefully put us on the podium. Uh, my goals this year for Formula D are definitely to finish top 10 at the end of the series. Um, you know, the only really way to do that is to consistently place extremely well throughout the season. Um, if we if we put the car on the podium, uh, the you know myself and the team would definitely be thrilled. We've been working at this for an extremely long time. It's one of our main goals is to get it on the podium. So if we were there, it would definitely be a huge accomplishment for for everybody. You know the amount of power, the amount of effort. You know all these things put together, how fast the car needs to be. It really does become a reliability war. Uh, we've had so many mechanical failures working so hard for perfection and keeping the car going that you know the biggest challenge I've definitely had is you know keeping the tool that we use to win uh, top notch and at 100 percent. You know it's very very difficult, it's very expensive to do this stuff and we somehow keep finding a way to make it happen in some way shape or form. So our strategy differs from last year's a little bit. Uh, we're getting the car to be a little bit faster and use all of its power uh, we have a new Nitto tire that's allowing us to get quite a bit more grip, you know, so we've been able to make the car easier to drive and be faster at the same time. So, you know, our strategy this year has changed as we're not just trying to make the car the fastest thing you've ever seen. We now actually can get it to the point where I can drive the car to be what it needs to be instead of pushing too hard. There's a countless amount of time that gets put into each and every lap. And like, I think we figured it out to be like, Every hour that we put into the car is like eight seconds of driving. So imagine all the driving we do a lap, you know, it's like five hours of prep work for one lap by the time we're done. Uh, any given day, if I am the best I physically can, I definitely think there's a win there. Um, what pushes me to continuously do that is the progression of everybody else. You know, you're always chasing that next step and everybody's doing it over and over again. So the progression and, and all that just keeps me pushing for sure.